Hello. Um, so I'm just doing a video now. I'm going to do weigh in tomorrow. Um, it's all been very hectic um, over the last four weeks or so because um, we did North Horsham Live Aid and all got um, quite stressful over that time but it was all gone over okay. That was on the 13th of April um, and um, it, yeah it all got it all went uh, extremely stressful but it, again the yeah, event went well um, all, all it's all pretty much done now and the money raised was nine thousand pounds that's gonna go it is a lot isn't it uh, to each um, there's a the music therapy room in nook in the each network each is, um, is it called e, East Anglian Children's Hospital no, not hospital, hospice, East Anglian Children's Hospice. Um, hospice? It's a place where um, you go if you're very, 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 very ill um, and it's, un it's unlikely you're going to get better from it. So you um, go there to be looked after in your final part of your life as a child. So you get there, it's like a home from home situation where you get good care at the end of your life. This is a very sad but it's a very important thing to have as a resource. Mm -hmm. um, but it, that meant that um, my food was mishmashy, everything kind of went haywire. Um, I still kept to my free food, speed food, savvy sins. Um, so I didn't kind of uh, go down the routes of uh, crisps and um, like you know I, I i didn't really get down the route of sort of chocolate cake crisps chocolate sort of cake crisps biscuits and those types that of things are very much so not very good like yeah not crisps, nourishing and such yeah. but also my old sugar food so i didn't really go down that route um i lost count of everything um but i still kept to my like you know still kept heavy sin and that was really good because it made me feel like the changes in my head have enough now that even in the most stressful parts of it all I don't turn to the food anymore because I know that it won't do anything for me the, the things that will do it for me are having a break and writing my things down and, and you me. know and go ahead. Um, so, but it does mean, I weighed myself this morning, um, I hadn't weighed myself for a good few weeks, and I was a bit like thinking I must be on like 300, you know, I must have put on 300 stone or something by now. Yeah, um, not. is it? No, well in fact what happened is I, I went, came downstairs and I had some breakfast, had some granola, and I oh, went back granola. upstairs and I was like, oh, okay, I'll weigh myself, oh, and I'm 10 stone 8. Red. And some children. So I'm ten stone eight. So I don't. I mean, probably if I'd weighed myself before breakfast, I'd have been ten stone seven or something. So I think that's Quite for me. Good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I haven't weighed in for I don't know four weeks, perhaps. And we've had half term as well. Um, and um, so I, although I'm a bit sort of thinking, well, now I'm ten stone eight, and um, whereas only a short while ago I was ten stone three. So it's five pounds on. I'm not really too worried about it because I know that um, I'm I'm very happy and very proud of myself and very grateful that I've made the changes that I have, which meant that I haven't put on loads and loads of weight. And also, um, it won't take me long to get the weight back off again. It's um, only yeah, I forgot how much. Well, if I was ten stone eight this morning. Um, okay, I might be a bit lighter because obviously I would have breakfast and such. So therefore then if 10 stone 3 was that £5, um, that was my target wasn't it? But if it's, even if I, so it's only £5 so um, yeah it's, it'll, it'll come back off again. So um, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to make it to weigh in tomorrow because the other thing we've got going on is that um, our landlord um, said ages ago that um, there was, basically there was a chance that he was going to say that we were um, need to come out of this house if um, we hadn't done certain works in the house um, and the works that they'd said were things like 
Yeah, we're going to go to Nanny's house today. Okay. Make sure you get good walking clothes on. Because we're like 25.32 miles. Do you want to go and quickly help him, guys, just to make sure he heard? Oh, no, he's all right. Got him. So basically, um, the landlord said he was going to be here at the end of the month. And the end of the month is on Tuesday. Which means that he's not been here or contacted us yet. But we're also thinking about moving to... Um, Robin's mum's house and building the rooms on there. Um, Just in case. So it's and all. Anyone? Yeah, so, so, so the stress of that is a lot to cope with as well. Um, but also, it's fine. We just keep in making sure we keep healthy foods in the house, making sure that we don't have stuff in the house that's um, bingeable on or trigger feeds or unhealthy for us. Does that mean um, I have to eat the cookies and Maltesers now? <laughs> no, you don't have to eat it. So Guy's got a little pot of cookies and Maltesers that she's got from um, her grandma and granddad. And um, we've put it, put it in a box and written your name on it. So that we just, was just trying to explain to Guy that we probably shouldn't have cookies for breakfast. So she's eating her strawberries instead. But I said we'd take them with us instead so she can have them on the walk or perhaps when she gets to Nanny's house. Um, so I'm, I'm well, I'm okay um, I'm really proud of what I've achieved and um, lots of work obviously with the shop and uh, see we've got to prepare again for a Live Aid um, 2020 lots and lots and lots of things to do all the time continuously but I just need to drop myself Just I mean obviously the top end of my target is 10 stone sticks so I just need to lose myself a few pounds, drop myself back in my target range. Um, so I don't. So basically, this is my little weigh-in video I'll do now, and I might be able to make it to weigh-in tomorrow. But if not, then I've done my little weigh-in today. Um, what day is it? We're on Sunday. So what day is it? Weigh-in today is on Monday. So what date is it? Date. Twenty. I don't know. Let's have a little look and see if it tells me on here. Does it tell me on here? Uh, it's 28th of April. Nearly to May, aren't we? I think that was yesterday. No, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have a nice walk today because we're going to walk over to um, Auburn's mum's house. And that's just uh, a little way across town. But we're going to go the long way because Guy wants to go the long way. So we're going to have a nice little walk today. Um, so and you know the the other thing obviously also is you the other thing that will happen is when we all move into Robin's mum's house I won't be fully in control of the food anymore so that I've got to you'll probably be like because it's well I can't really say to Sarah what she can and can't eat can she not really no but really. you can just say Sarah can you can you make this portion or or help make the dinner where you make like a well portion. that's what I'm thinking if I make sure I really carry on doing my batches. Then it'll be easier, but I also have to be aware that my um, eating mommy, yeah, it's that's it's gone away through. I also have to be aware that um, I need to be. I can't just rely on um, just not having it in the house. I'm gonna have to just make sure I implement other things. Because sometimes nanny has chocolate yeah. in the house. But I'm quite confident with the fact that I know that I can um, because of what happened over the last four weeks. It was pretty darn stressful, um, and it was probably about as. <laughs> most stress I've had for quite some time and that's saying something since we run our own business um which is quite stressful, which is quite stressful. <laughs> uh, but I still didn't go down the route of like I still didn't even you want didn't the crisps the no I didn't I didn't even like you know all the other stuff I used to eat ages ago I still kept Savvy Sins that was my every time my brain just went to Savvy Sins so it was a really good um yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, though I'm a few pounds heavier, I'm extremely, I'm very grateful that it wasn't, um, you know, it was a test for me, and I passed the test. So yeah, just going to lose my few pounds now to get myself back in my target, and I will keep you informed. Bye!